apparently they've arrested him. Yeah. Mm. At least by by getting him alive, they might find they might be able to find out the reason why. Mm. It's not much consolation. Mm. Just had a bad day or something. Yeah. And we're going to take the next turn to the left. Take the next turn on the left, please, Tony. I'm just going to let him go. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to flash back. I'm just going to just keep it slow so we can. Yeah. The only reason I'm letting him go is that I just, want, I just want to give you a free. <laughs> I just want to give you a free bit of a uh, road behind you, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, the, on your test, the exam wouldn't do that, yeah? Okay. We've done gone, gone around the block about a dozen times just to get a clear road behind us. Yeah. Let's get a bit of welly on then. Keep your speed down to 15 oh, miles dear. You're a spot for you, don't you? Yeah. 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 Everywhere at 15 and 20 mile an hour, isn't it? <laughs> My daughter said to me today, she said, You drive that you, like you're always on a lesson. I said, Well, you know, if I let it slip, yeah. then I'll, if I don't do it myself, I won't teach it. Oh, right. Right. So check your rear view mirror to see what's happening behind. Okay. Check your right mirror. We're going to stop just short of this junction. Nobody behind us. We're going to get our position. I'll oh, get his mirror signal. Mirror. Yeah, right mirror to see if anybody's overtaking. Yeah. Signal right. Yeah. We're going to stop just before we get to this junction right. just to get our position for turning uh, right. So if you have a look where the white line is coming into the car, you see where it's coming in? Oh yeah, it's right over here, uh, yeah. over there. Um, um, how far, uh, could you see it on the right hand side through the mirror? Yeah, I'm about um, a couple of feet away from it. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good. Um, so use that as your reference point. No, no I want to be a bit closer than that. You want to be a bit closer? I want to be left to about, Yeah, like about 30 centimetres, that's about a foot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we need to get a little bit closer. So we're going to steer a little like, what about that gear? Pop it into first gear. Yeah, get me to pop that in just yeah, before I come to a stop, yeah? yeah. So, so we're going to steer just two minutes to the right and then straighten up. Take the steer off and straighten up. And have a look now. Have a look where. Oh, yeah, it comes in just by the edge of that wiper. Yeah, and can you see it along the, running along the side yeah. of the car with the wiper? So that's wiper? my position for what? For turning right. Yeah, so, so that's my position for, uh, what's it called? Turning right. Left of... Oh, d uh, yeah, that's your your marker for your for just left of the, the centre line. Or... Yeah, yeah. why is that important then? Because uh, if we were too far over to the right and, and somebody else come into the junction, we're um, we're in their way, basically. We're... we're uh, um, what's the word? Blocking the road. Obstruction. Obstruction. Yeah, so they That's could. That's a big word. Yeah. <laughs> so they could crash into us, yeah, or we may. Why don't you stay over on the left? Then? Because then you're confusing people, because they they might think you're turning left. Oh um, right, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you need to be in the right position, because sometimes in bright sunlight you may not be able to see your your. Um, and I suppose there might even be room for it. Uh, yeah, the right, there, there could be a room. Side, yeah. There's a wider road than this. But when yeah. we get closer to, to the junction, there might be room for a car to go left, and so you, you're in the interest of keeping the traffic it's all, flowing. It's all clever stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's just getting it out there, isn't it? You don't make it up as you go along, do you? No. <laughs> so I've got to now line this reference point up from my giveaway line. Yeah. And I think I know how to do that now. It just comes underneath that door mirror. Good. Yeah, I'm getting better. Look at that. Yeah. Spot Excellent. On. So now um, we need to look right 
this looking yeah. yellow car is still parked here. Yeah, so again, we need to creep out into the into the junction just a little couple of inches at a time until you can see it's clear. You have me at more steering, wouldn't you? you? Tell me when. See the black car? Oh, yeah. When uh, the, the middle of the, the road lines up with your your wing mirror, your right mirror, yeah. then we can steer. How much? The steer, lock. Oh. That's enough. And start to steer back to straighten the wheels. Let's steer back a bit more. Just yeah. as you stay on your side of the road. You gave me dirty luck, didn't you? <laughs> but what could you do? You can't get out. You can't see, can you? You just. No. You've got to creep out, haven't you? You can't see. They were there in this once, weren't they? Yeah. Mind, that, mind you, don't forget that a couple of weeks later, after they pass a bit. Yeah. Now we're going to turn right. Open the right line then. So we're going to turn right here. Yeah, she might be alluring it down. Uh, practicing on her own, won't you? Yeah. See, I find by getting that first gear like that there, that helps, that helps me not to uh, stall. I'll try to remember to do it on these merges, whatever they're called. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to try and remember to tell you. Yeah, it, it will it will stop you stalling. And I mean, what's the consequences if you stalled on the way out of a junction? Um, well, it's not really dangerous. It, it could be very dangerous. You know, if you stall right um, across the path of oncoming traffic, they could crash into you. So it's it's very important that you get it into that first gear and you you emerge from the junction in first gear. Yeah, that'd be more of a kind of a, just coming out of roll. That'd be more of a lack of judgment, really, wouldn't it? Than lack of preparation. Lack of preparation. Because if I'm if I've got somebody coming that quick towards me, I shouldn't really. Yeah, you be, shouldn't uh, really be pulling out. Know. But because of the, the parking situation, we wouldn't want to see our opportunity to go and then just stall it. I don't mind if it's on your side, but not on my side. Yeah, it's all right. Then. <laughs> Get the old airbags working out. Yeah. You have got airbags in this car, haven't you? Yeah. You think? Oh, well, my daughter had an accident last week. Her airbags didn't deploy. Eh? No, the other cars did. Hers didn't. So we've got to be a problem with those. Now, we're going to turn left. We're going to turn left here, please, Tony. What was it, head on or side on? Uh, almost head on, sort of fun. Driver side on what kind of car is it? Cards. Um, Peugeot 207. Yeah, Peugeot 207. And, and the airbag and the steering wheel never came out? No. She turned the one off on the passenger side because she sometimes has her son in the oh, right. passenger side and in his booster and seat. We're going to turn right. We're going to turn right, please. But her one didn't come out, and yet on the other car, both of them come out. I've heard that a few times though. Um, I've got a friend who's just got a new Volkswagen a Tiger or something like that, mm. and uh, they had quite a bad smash and uh, the car was brand new and none of the airbags went off. Mm. Thankfully I've never been in the car when I have gone off. No. Apparently the other car just filled with this white smoke. Yeah, I believe it hurts, but obviously yeah. it's... Uh, he said he had a pounding headache. Yeah, it's better than having a uh, no yeah. head down, isn't it? Speed bumps here, I'll be doing about 30 mile an hour. Yeah, I just realised that. So we're coming to the end end of the road. <coughs> so we're, we're going to be turning. And we're going to turn left. We're going to turn left. So check your rear view mirror. What are you checking for? I don't see anybody behind me. There's nobody behind me. Check your left mirror. What are you checking for there? Um, bikes. No, what, there. If there was any coming, what would you do? I'd let them go. Yeah. So we're going to use our reference point for the end of the road and. The oh, one signal, for the yeah, signal. Did I get this first gear yet? Yep, get the first gear. Because you're frightened about this stalling now, I don't want to uh, get all these airbags popping off everywhere. Part of Lugan, isn't it? 
it? No, we're just harping it. Oh, we did. Um, 